My name is Adam Strong. I'm from uh, Jackson, Kentucky, and I'm 23 years old. I graduated high school, and uh, my first job was actually a uh, security guard up on a um, strip job, you know, on a coal mine. You know, our job market, our economy was just flooded by uh, different applicants. So, uh, I mean, it was very competitive just for entry-level jobs. I mean, just for McDonald's or uh, you know some grocery store. I mean, it was it was actually uh, competitive. I think, at least in my community, there is a sense of uh, helplessness of despair you know there's a huge uh, drug problem there's huge dependency on that and a lot of people just don't feel loved and uh, there's a disassociation you know a lot of people don't know you know what a what a holler is you know I live between two mountains right next to a creek that's where all the roads are uh, a lot of people don't know about you know there is no high-speed internet there is no public transportation I mean uh, if you live 20 minutes from town, that's 20 miles. You can't walk that, you know, you can't, you know, get that opportunity. You know, there's not only a lack of opportunity, but an inaccessibility to opportunity. And my buddy uh, talked to me about Youth Build, and uh, he's one of those guys that can actually, you know, talk up anything. So I was just like, okay, man, but he, I mean, he made it sound so good. Through that, I actually went and got to talk to um, Secretary of Education, Arnie Duncan, about rural education. And... Um, I guess I did a, a really good job or something like that because you, uh, Youth Build USA, they uh, talked to me a couple weeks after that and was like, hey, can you go up, come up here to Boston and do a staffing retreat and just kind of train and talk about rural education and rural reality. So I, I, I provided that information, gave them that perspective, and about that time the uh, National Council of Young Leaders was forming and uh, my name got pushed forward as a potential applicant and here I am now. I'm so thrilled to be a member of the National Council of Young Leaders Opportunity Youth uh, United uh, just because I have this opportunity. I have this, you know, this opportunity to serve and to really give perspective and really represent my community. One thing I would say that we all can do uh, to help Opportunity Youth is to be engaged. I mean, to engage people in every wa walk of life. They just need uh, friendly conversation. I, I believe through engagement you can really make a difference in someone's life. So. Uh, that would be my recommendation is just be engaged, talk to people and uh, live life and you know you'll be better for it and so will someone else.